Guys, the reach around guard is available now. This is a position me and my training partners, especially JB, have worked a ton. He does it to me, I do it to him every day in the gym. If you guys have seen our scrambles on YouTube, this is the instructional to work out what we're doing. Available now only on BJJ Fanatics. The most common sweep for me personally, out of the Kosoto hook position. And it's basically just a hip bump sweep, but of course a hip bump sweep from close guard. Obviously one of those first fucking things you learn, right? They got their head on the ground. We cover the posting arm, we hit them with our hips, and we end up in mount. Obviously probably works for about three minutes and then it never works again unless obviously train on is terrible. Um, but that basic mechanism of hitting people with your hips is how this sweep is gonna work from a Kosoto hook. And again, you might have looked at that first sweep and thought, that's pretty low percentage. And I would say, you're right, it is. But there's a lot of moves in Jiu-Jitsu that we need to build the first threat so they give us a counter force that we can go with. And again, one out of a hundred times that first movement works, right? But then of course, people work it out very quickly that they can, can block this by moving force in a different direction. So it's like, I'm not baiting JB by trying to sweep him with the Kosoto hook. I'm trying to sweep him. He sends force in a different direction. I follow it and sweep him on top, right? If I'm trying to take JB's weight to my right, and he takes his weight to my left, he kills sweep option number one, but he encourages sweep option number two. And again, it is a hip bump sweep where we cover the leg instead of obviously covering the arm, but it works the exact same way. Hip bump from close guard, we block the arm that they would post on the ground, right? So like if I'm back in close guard here, if I hit him with my hips and JB just post this arm backwards, I'm never gonna sweep him, right? If I cover that post, we're gonna sweep him. Think of this the same way, right? We're gonna block the post that would kill this sweep, but instead of it being an arm, it's gonna be a leg here, right? So JB's pushing into me here. We beat the cross face. I take the Kosoto hook. I'm trying to turn the corner here, but JB, he wants to start dropping this hip into me here. If he effectively drops this hip into me, he could flatten me out here, right? And again, this isn't the end of the battle here. There's things we can do to survive, but he's killed one of the battles we sought to achieve and we were seeking height. JB's killed our height advantage here, right? But of course, this is gonna be the counter to the Kosoto sweep. So I, as soon as I feel this, we come back a step, as soon as I feel any resistance, I cup his leg here. So again, if we change angle. So we got our Kosoto hook, this hip starts coming into me. I cup his leg and I hit him with my hips to come over the top. If I didn't cover that leg and I tried to come over the top, he posts the foot on the ground and we probably get our back taken here. So we're threatening to come up. JB starts to drop his hip, I cover the ankle here. Once we've secured the ankle and we've tightened it in a meaningful way, I've prevented JB lifting this knee to the sky, stomping that foot to the ground. And then I just lift my hips like a hip bump sweep and bump him with my hips and we land in side control. But of course, like I said, every octopus guard sweep comes with a risk of a counter octopus. And this is where it's one of the most fun positions in Jiu Jitsu because it can end up being an ongoing scramble. So whenever I sweep someone, I immediately step over both legs here. Because of course, again, if JB now tries to come up, we can take his back quite easily. So if we get it from this angle as well. So we've beaten the cross face here. I've taken a Kosoto hook. I'm trying to flare him. I feel any resistance, we cover the shin. So any resistance into me here, we cover that shin and we lift. And I hit him with my hips here. Cause look, there's nothing JB can do with his hands to prevent me hip bumping him. If he tries to post his hands behind him, we're still able to step over here. And we can immediately step over by his left. Typically speaking, he'll probably concede to mount here and try to push our legs back. But again, this is one of the most common 
sweep out of Octopus Guard for me. We beat the cross face, we come up, we take our Kosoto hook, I cover the legs and I hit him with my hips. Immediately step off the legs. So I call it basically the octopus hip bump sweep here, but if you're ever confused about the mechanism, think of your day one hip bump sweep. But instead of covering the arm, we're covering the second leg, the leg that they would use to post, to counter, uh, obviously that movement. 